Hey, my friends, we will be right back to the show, but I have a question for you. Are you struggling with the impact of childhood trauma? Well, know that you're not alone. I'm here to let you know that I'm starting a brand new weekly coaching group that includes a year of live coaching, accountability, support, habit and goal setting, and more. I'm starting a wait list for the group right now, and I'm only taking a handful of people. And I'll let you know that through this personalized coaching, we'll work together to help you understand how your childhood trauma has shaped your beliefs, behaviors, emotions, and will help you create a roadmap for healing and growth. Right now, you can schedule an absolutely free coaching session with me and get put on the wait list if you go to thinkunbroken.com. My friends, it's your time to turn your trauma into triumph, breakdowns into breakthroughs, and become the hero of your own story. And I'm here to support you in doing that. Just go to thinkunbroken.com to register for a free coaching call with me and to get put on the wait list for the brand new weekly coaching program. We'll be right back to the show. But before we do, I want to tell you about today's sponsor, Factor Mills. Dot com, where if you go to factormills.com slash unbroken50 and use the code unbroken50, you can get 50% off your first order. That's factormills.com slash unbroken50. If you're like me and you are a person who is busy trying to create a life, heal, work on their health, wealth, and relationships, and not to mention deal with the day-to-days of normal life, you do not have time to be going to the grocery store and trying to figure out what you're going to cook every single day of the week. In fact, one time I did the math and I realized I was spending over 15 hours a week at the grocery store and cooking. When I added factor, I got to use that time for myself, for my family, for my friends, for my community, and for my business. And so if you're in the place where you need some more support in the kitchen, head to factormills.com slash unbroken50 and use the code unbroken50 to get 50% off. Do you ever feel like life is a never-ending series of lessons while you try to find purpose, meaning, and answers? I am Vanessa Fontana, the host of Figuring Shit Out, a podcast where we undertake self-help, coming of age, and healing. As I live my 20s in New York City figuring shit out myself, I've realized that if you spend your whole life trying to get your act together, you don't have a life. You have an act. On Figuring Shit Out, every Sunday you get to normalize the journey of not knowing and be guided into living your life with more intention and ease. Hey, my friends, we will be right back to the show, but I have a question for you. Are you struggling with the impact of childhood trauma? Well, know that you're not alone. I'm here to let you know that I'm starting a brand new weekly coaching group that includes a year of live coaching, accountability, support, habit and goal setting, and more. I'm starting a wait list for the group right now, and I'm only taking a handful of people. And I'll let you know that through this personalized coaching, we'll work together to help you understand how your childhood trauma has shaped your beliefs, behaviors, emotions, and will help you create a roadmap for healing and growth. Right now, you can schedule an absolutely free coaching session with me and get put on the wait list if you go to thinkunbroken.com. My friends, it's your time to turn your trauma into triumph, breakdowns into breakthroughs, and become the hero of your own story. And I'm here to support you in doing that. Just go to thinkunbroken.com to register for a free coaching call with me and to get put on the wait list for the brand new weekly coaching program. Welcome to the Michael Unbroken Podcast. I'm Michael Anthony, author, speaker, coach, mentor, and advocate for adult survivors of childhood trauma. And in this podcast, I'm going to be bringing you the best of what I understand about healing trauma, overcoming our past, and ultimately becoming the hero of our own story. This podcast is not a replacement for mental health, but instead, think of it as a companion to help guide you into what is next in your life. My friend, thank you so much for being here with me. Do me a favor before we get started, hit subscribe, like, comment, leave a review, tell a friend about it, and until next time, my friend, be unbroken. Let's get into the show. Have you read my book, Think Unbroken, Understanding and Overcoming Childhood Trauma? If you haven't, then now is the time because I am giving away free copies of my book, Think Unbroken for the rest of the year. All you have to do is go to traumahealingbook.com to get your free copy. 
The reality is that as I think about the world and where we are right now with things, it is more important than ever if we are going to step onto the path of healing generational trauma together that we do it through education. And when I wrote my book, I never expected it to become an international bestseller. I certainly didn't expect it to sell thousands and thousands of copies as it has. And the one thing that I know to be true about this experience is that the more people that read it, the more impact we can have on the world. And so I invite you to read it for free at traumahealingbook.com. I only ask that you cover the shipping and handling. And the reason is because, you know, I'm just a regular guy. I'm not a millionaire and I would go into debt if I gave everyone in the world a free copy of my book. So I'll cover the book. You cover the shipping and handling. You grab your copy at traumahealingbook.com. And I'm so excited to have you on this journey and this mission to think unbroken. Hey, what's up, my friends? Hope that you're doing well wherever you are in the world. Michael Anthony here, author, speaker, coach, and advocate for adult survivors of childhood trauma. Today, I want to talk to you about understanding the capacity that you have to create the life that you want to have. So, if you didn't hear yet, this weekend, I'm going to share with you some really amazing news. Grant Cardone, undercover billionaire, 10x king, invested $10,000 into Think Unbroken. And I have to say this, not only am I elated, but I'm so incredibly excited that that happened for this business because the more people that are aware of Think Unbroken, the more impact that we're gonna be able to make in ending generational trauma. And so here's what happened. I'm gonna play you out this scenario so you can understand the power of what happens when you will, (laughs) like literally when you will the things that you want into existence. You see, on Thursday, I got a message. And it said, hey, enter this pitch off to share your business with Grant Cardone for an opportunity to win $10,000. And I thought to myself, okay, I'm absolutely going to win this. Here's why I thought that. We create the reality of what we believe. I'm going to say that again. We create the reality of what we believe. Self-actualization is possible. I've said this before. Mindset plus action equals self-actualization. So on Thursday evening, I get this email. I have less than 24 hours to complete a pitch video to get entered into if I can be the top 10 to then pitch again live. Now, here's what's really interesting. That night, I was incredibly busy between coaching, between running the small group at healtraumacoach.com, between all the other responsibilities I have in my life, I was just like, I have to make space and time for this. And the first thing that I thought to myself was that I am going to win this money. You see, self-belief is the most important tool that we have in this journey. There's nothing more important than self-belief when you step into this healing journey, or any journey for that matter doesn't really matter what it is that you're trying to accomplish. First, you have to believe that you can. And so I get the email. I say to myself, I am going to win this. That's mindset. I automatically, even though I knew that there were other people who probably had said the same thing to themselves, and even though I knew that I was going to have to get in front of 10,000 people to do this, I said, I am going to win. I already decided I was going to win. And in fact, in my journal, in my journal, that night before I went to bed, I wrote, I won $10,000 from Grant Cardone. Because you see, what's really beautiful about what happens in our life is when we think things, when we put them into the universe and then we do the work, they will then come to fruition. So, that night, pulled up this camera just like this and I framework exactly what the pitch was going to be and I wrote out this framework before I even recorded the first video I, rec- I, I spent probably an hour and a half only on the framework so I knew exactly what it was that I wanted to deliver in this pitch because I decided I was going to win so you can't just decide you're going to win you're going to have to do all the action leading up to the win as well so I took my whiteboard and I just started writing and framing it out And then I looked at it and I erased it and I started over. And then I thought about it a little bit more and I did it again. And then I did it again. And finally I was like, okay, I think I have this locked up. So from there what happened is I turned on this camera and I sat in front of it and I had three minutes 
to record this pitch, to talk about Think Unbroken. I will be sharing that in another episode. I'm waiting on the video still so I can share with you guys exactly what happened um, because it was absolutely incredible, the craziest experience ever. So I get in front of the video, I record the pitch, and then I record it again, and then again, and again, and again, and again. And in one evening, I recorded that pitch 20 times because I was just trying to do two things. One, I was trying to dial it in, and then two, I was preparing myself for the moment that when I was on stage, I would not freeze. Because as a trauma survivor, like when my sympathetic nervous system kicks in and that cortisol is pumping through my veins and that adrenaline is all over the place, I've got to make sure that I've done everything in my power to be focused and aware in that moment to execute. So I recorded it again and again and again. And I went to bed that night and I didn't submit it. I had until 11 a.m. to submit it the next morning. And I woke up the next morning after just a restless night of sleep because I realized like I was something was missing. Something needed to be redone. And so I went to the gym and I started working it out of my head, playing it through again and again and again. And I came back into my office and I sat here and I looked at my whiteboard and I said, okay, do this one more time. At this point, I had 20 minutes. So it was either I was going to submit the best of the ones that I had from the night before or I was going to submit the one that I was going to make right now. I had 20 minutes left and then I had to coach. So there was no space, like it was either now or never. So I sat down and I recorded the three minute video again and I felt really, really good about it. And I believed in my mind, in my body, my spirit and my soul, I said, I am going to make it into this and I am going to win this $10,000 from this video. So I submitted it and a couple days go by and we're doing this live boot camp, right? It's an entrepreneurial boot camp. And in this boot camp, we get to halfway through Saturday, day two, and they still haven't said who won. And I was like, okay, they're gonna have to tell us at some point who's going to be in the top 10 to pitch live. And so Jared grants, uh, I think he's VP or CEO, something like that, I, I don't recall. He comes on and he starts listing the people who had made it into the top 10 to pitch live. And my name was last. I knew my name was gonna be last because I knew that there was no way that when he read off those other nine names that I wasn't gonna be in this. I believed that because the nights before I'd put in all that work. So now I get the opportunity to do this pitch live. And I find out I have five minutes. So I'm, gonna, I'm painting a picture, I'm, I'm going somewhere with this because I want you to understand the power of not only self-belief, but action, because mindset plus action equals self-actualization. You have to remember this. So I'm, I'm, I'm in this room after the top 10 announcement in this Zoom call with this awesome dude, Pat Quinn, who is an incredible speaking coach and somebody I've been following for a while now. And I got some one-on-one -on -one time with Pat. I never had that before. I'd only taken his online courses. And so I was in this space against effectively my competition, the people I was about to go against. And, you know, everyone in that room was super excited to be there. But you could tell nerves are on edge. I mean, this is a big deal. Like, first off, $10,000 is, is a good chunk of money. But secondly, to be on that stage in front of 10,000 of your peers that's, uh, if that's not stress inducing, like, I don't know what it is. So I'm in this room with Pat Quinn and we're going through it and we get this amazing hour with him. He's just giving us tips and feedback and talking through. And I ask him a bunch of really questions. He even were, was difficult for him to ask. Cause I really was trying to figure out how to solve the problem of when you're up there live on stage, how do you execute? Right? Cause if, if I was going to make my self-actualization happen in that moment, I was going to have to be better than the other nine people in that room right there, in that moment. I had to step onto the stage. It's like, I think about like championship fights. You do all this preparation, you put in all this work, and then you get up to the arena. And nerves, you're shaking, you're getting out of the car, you're walking into the building, you get in the dressing room, you get your gloves on, put your mouthpiece in, you're heading out into the cage to the ring and your heart's pounding out of control, but you know, you know you've done everything in your power to get to where you are to be successful, but you still have to beat the person on the other side. Now, sometimes and most often that person on the other side between where you're at and where you want to go is you. 
very rarely is it actually someone else. 99% of the time, it's you, your self-belief, your mindset, and your actions that keep you from achieving goals. So I'm in this room, these nine other people, and the only thing I'm thinking the entire time is, I already won this $10,000. They just don't know it. Now, part of that is me being very competitive, but the other part is just an, an immense self-belief. If you don't believe in yourself, who will? You have to ask yourself this. If you don't believe in yourself, who's going to believe in you? You have to believe in yourself. And I don't think that I don't think that it's callous and I don't think that it's being conceited and I don't think that it's anything bad. You know, people will talk about the ego and how this and that and this and that. Like, you have to believe in yourself. Nobody else is going to believe in you if you don't first believe in you. And so I said, even though I was sitting in this room with these other nine people and being super proud that we were there together, just to make it to that point, that's so hard. They must have done the same thing that I did. Made the video, did the whiteboard, did it again, did it again, slept on it, had a hard night, got up, did it again. And then finally, Saturday afternoon, they're in that room with me. So we leave the meeting and we have less than three hours to now turn our three minute pitch into a five minute pitch. And so I looked at the whiteboard, I watched the video I had made that got me into the top 10 again. And then I looked at how can I be better in these areas? And I just broke it down and I re-recorded it again. And then I did something that's really, really, really important. I Hey, what's up, my friend? Before we get into today's episode, just want to take a moment of your time and tell you about the 30-day Think Unbroken Small Group Trauma Healing Challenge. What I've done is taken the best of everything that I've learned over the last few years of being a trauma-informed coach through my own certification processes, through my own trauma healing journey, and more, and compiled it into the most in-depth 30-day challenge that's ever existed in healing trauma. And I want to invite you to it. If you go to HealTraumaCoach.com, there's more information. But as a quick overview, you're going to step into not only learning the baseline of healing through the six principles of healing trauma, but the six pillars of healing trauma through reframing, through creating self-love, through understanding personal boundaries, through creating wants, needs, and interests, through understanding your ACE score and how that impacts you, including the science of trauma and more. And I created this challenge because I want us to come together as a group and as a community. And one of the things really special about this 30-day small group coaching challenge is not only will you go live with me weekly as we go into the depths of healing trauma, but also you're going to be assigned to anonymous teams where you can remain anonymous and have support and have community. Think of it like a digital support group, but you don't have to show your face or say your name. One of the reasons that I did that is because in my own journey, the most powerful moments that I had were within these groups, and I want to give that to you as well. So I invite you to check out HealTraumaCoach.com. The first session starts on April 1st. I'm only allowing a handful of people into this first session. So if you're curious and you want to know more, check out Heal trauma coach dot com and i will see you in the challenge ask someone for help you have to understand the power of asking for help and so i hit up russ yeager russ won last year and i connected with his wife emily as well they're amazing human beings so i hit up russ russ won this pitch last year and i thought to myself if russ won maybe if he has five minutes he can watch this pitch and he can help me understand what is the missing piece of the puzzle. And let me say this, I am incredibly grateful and fortunate to the conversation I had. 20 minutes with him may have changed the entirety of the rest of my life. Because even though I had this mindset and this belief that I was going to win, sometimes we need help. That is action, asking for help is action to reach our goals. We have to ask for help, support. That's the same reason people come to me for coaching. Same reason they join small group. Same reason they go to hilltraumacoach.com and sign up. Same reason they have therapists. Same reason they have community support. Because we need help. No one great has ever done anything on their own. You know this. I've said it before. So now I have this new framework. I have this conversation with Russ. I have this conversation with Emily. I have this conversation with myself. 
but my heart, whoo, you talk about beating out of my chest. Like I knew in two hours I was going to be on one of the biggest platforms I've ever been on. Now, what's really great about this is one of my goals in life, one of my big life goals is speak in front of 20,000 people at one time. And I knew at the least I was going to speak in front of 10. And that's incredible. That got me super excited. So now it's about handling the sympathetic nervous system. So we know that when we are floated with, flooded with cortisol and we are in adrenaline mode, fight or flight, the only thing that our brain wants to do is survive. You cannot make cognitive decisions when your brain is in the sympathetic nervous system. So I knew two things. One, I had to do something about the adrenaline crunching me. Like it was just like so heavy. So I knew I had to do something about the adrenaline and then I knew some that I had to do something about getting myself into the parasympathetic nervous system so that even though I knew that the adrenaline was still going to be there, when it was time to get up on that stage, I wasn't going to be crushed under the weight of the pressure. Like, and honestly, like, I love the pressure. That's where I thrive. I think a lot of us as trauma survivors, we thrive really well in high pressure situations. And so here's what happened. I, I went downstairs to the gym. And I got on the bike and I went on one of the hardest workouts that I've ever done in my life, just pumping all of the adrenaline out of my body, getting it out of there. I needed somewhere to go because it was just in there. It was like this explosion waiting to happen. And then I started lifting. I came back. I ate some food. I took a shower. I had some tea. I then meditated. This is super important. When we're about to face really really difficult tasks in our life, we've got to get into our parasympathetic nervous system. So I meditated. I put my earbuds in, I put on a guided meditation, and I just focused on my breathing. Because the adrenaline, even though I would brought it down by 70%, it was still there. I could still feel it. And I didn't want that to be the reason why I didn't go and execute. Because I already believed I was going to win this, this pitch off. Like there was no way I wasn't going to win. But if my adrenaline and my sympathetic nervous system were in control in that moment, like I was going to be in big trouble. So I meditated. And then after that, I did a visualization and I walked myself through the entire process of what was going to happen from the moment I got on stage to the moment that I started speaking to the moment that I finished and they critiqued me to the watching. I literally watched everyone else's pitches in my head. And just thinking about that moment at the very end. And then I visualized myself winning. Because I'd done the work. So at that point it was going to be out of my control. And I could only like will it into existence from there. And so as I'm in this visualization. I'm playing through in my head. Knowing I've got 20 minutes left. That's it. 20 minutes left and then we're going. So 20 minutes is up. I've done the visualization. We've got about five left. And... And this is a secret I'm going to share with you. I don't really ever share this with people. But before I get into these really intense situations and speaking, and you know I've spoken in 12 different countries. I've spoken in front of five people. I've spoken in front of 500 people. Now I've spoken in front of 10,000. And my secret, when I get ready to go and speak, I put some Jay-Z in my ear. And I just pretend that I'm in a concert on stage with him. And we're just rocking thousands of people because when I was young I wanted to be a rock star it was either Tommy Lee or Jay-Z and and I just I love Jay he's a performer and I was like this is a performance everything that you do in moments that are high pressure is envisioning the caricature of what it is that you think you could do I was acting out my reality in that moment and so I put on the Jay-Z I get my song in I look at the clock we're live it's happening people are there it's going down and so there we are faced with the reality of the moment. Okay, I prepared for this. I believe that I could do this. Now I have to execute. Here's where it gets difficult, right? It's never as simple. Nothing in life. This is such a great lesson for me. And, and I think for anyone, especially if you have been in high pressure situations, it's never as easy as you think it's going to be. And so we get up there. And then all of a sudden, the greatest curveball in the history of public speaking, <laughs> Grant says, so that five minutes? No, 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 no. You get two minutes. And to this point, you have to think, I've only done a three-minute and I've only done a five-minute. 
two minutes. What? 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 But here's the truth about it. I wasn't scared or intimidated by the two minutes. The adrenaline spike that other people would have had, I didn't have because I already pushed that adrenaline out of my system. The preparedness that I might have been worried about, it wasn't there because I had rehearsed that pitch 50 times. And then in the moment, then in the moment, when he throws the ultimate public speaking curveball, the two minutes, he said, who wants to go first? And I raised my hand. I said, I'm going first, 100%. Give this to me. I am ready. Because if you don't believe in yourself, who will? And I believed in that moment that if I went first, I was going to knock the house down. I was going to impact and leave this moment of people understanding why I do think unbroken, why I invest my life savings into this, why I spend every waking hour in this company trying to create impact of change to reach my ultimate goal of ending generational trauma. And I knew that even though I had two minutes, I could do that. And so I raised my hand and my two minutes and my heart it was like slow motion. I can't even explain it. You hear about this where people talk about just being in this incredible flow state. And that's what happened with me. And in this moment, I was in this beautiful flow state where everything slowed down. And even though there's a lot of pressure and 10,000 people and a panel of, of incredibly wealthy human beings who have the ability to change your life forever, right? I didn't feel the pressure because I had already decided I won because I believed in myself. My mind in the moment right then knew I had prepared. The reason why people fail most often because they lack preparation, because they didn't do the work. You didn't fail the test in high school. You didn't study. You didn't do the work. And trust me, I failed every test in high school. You've seen my report card is straight S. <laughs> and so now I had done the work. I'd prepared myself. I was ready for anything. He could have said, you have to do this blindfolded upside down while skydiving over sharks. And I'd have been like, I got this. And at the end of that two minutes, everyone was blown away. And I can't wait to share it with you. And I hope that it comes today so I can put this out and share it with you. And at the end of the two minutes, they were blown away. Why? Because I believed in myself first. I believed in myself first. I believed that I could do that immediately. The second that email came in, I said, I'm going to win. But I only won because of the actions that I took. Mindset plus action equals self-actualization. And so at the end, after the other nine had went, and we had our conversations and the back and forth, and we watched the critiques and we had the in-depth. And in the back room, we're having conversation with each other and everyone's still so on edge. I knew that I had won. I just knew it because I believed and because I had done the work and because I believe in self-actualization. It is actually one of my values, honesty, leadership, kindness, self-actualization. I believe in it so much. It's the baseline for how I live my life. And so at the end, they come out and they say my name. And I was so thrilled, not because I won $10,000, so I don't care about the money, but because I had done what I said I was going to do, because I had lived up into my potential, because now in that moment, I have a new platform for Think Unbroken to move more closely to my goal of helping survivors and ending generational trauma. But I couldn't have had that goal if I didn't believe in myself first. I couldn't have had that goal if I was worried about what other people were going to say or think. I wouldn't have reached that goal if I wouldn't have put in the work and the action. And if I wouldn't have taken the first step at the very first moment of this, all those many years ago when I wrote the very first blog post, and then the first Instagram post, and then the first YouTube video, and then the first book, and then the first coaching session, and then all the other firsts that came along. If I wouldn't have done those, that moment would have never happened. You see, everything in life is about choices, about decisions, about actions, about making a decision to yourself and then moving towards it so you can realize that, so you can make that decision in your life come true. It's not going to be easy. And you hear me say all the time that patience is the most important word that I'm ever going to tell you. It took years for me to get to this moment. Years of just nothing, right? Just going every day, day in and day out and day in and day out. 
And then when the moment was come, I was prepared. Why? Because I'd been doing public speaking, right? I went to Toastmasters. I used to do stand-up comedy, which is honestly way more scary than what I did on Saturday. And I'd known and studied my craft. And I'd become good at understanding the way that cortisol and the sympathetic nervous system plays a role in high-pressure and high-stress situations. And I said to myself, I'm going to do the right things in the right moments leading up till now so that when it's time, when you're called to the stage, when you're called to the arena, when you're called to the ring, to the championship fight, you know you've done everything in your power to win. And then it's about execution. It's about showing up and doing exactly what you practiced and being flawless. And even when you make a mistake, looking at it and going, cool, I can be better here. I love critique. I love when someone says, you could try this and it'll be better because it makes me better because it makes me more, move more closer to my goals. So I'm really excited about the future for Think Unbroken. Like I feel like I'm just getting started. And I know a lot of you have been with me for a long time and I appreciate you and I'm so grateful for you. And I want you to know this, that mindset plus action equals self actualization. There is nothing that you can't do if you start with believing it first. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, my friend. Do me a favor, go to healtraumacoach.com. Check out the six-week coaching sessions. Please comment, like, subscribe, review, share this with a friend, especially if they need some motivation right now. And until next time, my friend, be unbroken. I'll see ya. Thank you so much for hanging out today with the Michael Unbroken podcast. Before we head off, do me a favor, please. Hit that like or subscribe button, leave a comment or review, and tell a friend. It would mean the world to me. And just so you know, I read every single review. I listen to your questions. And if you need to, you can reach out to me directly anywhere on social media at Michael Unbroken or email me directly to Michael at thinkunbroken.com. Remember, my friend, though trauma may be our foundation, it is not our future. Until next time, be unbroken. I'll see you. Hey, my friends, we will be right back to the show. But I have a question for you. Are you struggling with the impact of childhood trauma? Well, know that you're not alone. I'm here to let you know that I'm starting a brand new weekly coaching group that includes a year of live coaching, accountability, support, habit and goal setting, and more. I'm starting a wait list for the group right now, and I'm only taking a handful of people. And I'll let you know that through this personalized coaching, we'll work together to help you understand how your childhood trauma has shaped your beliefs, behaviors, emotions, and will help you create a roadmap for healing and growth. Right now, you can schedule an absolutely free coaching session with me and get put on the wait list if you go to thinkunbroken.com. My friends, it's your time to turn your trauma into triumph, breakdowns into breakthroughs, and become the hero of your own story. And I'm here to support you in doing that. Just go to thinkunbroken.com to register for a free coaching call with me and to get put on the wait list for the brand new weekly coaching program. Doctors take Field of Greens for their own health. Here's Dr. Ryan Green to explain. We're like you, too much fast food and not enough exercise. That's why I take Field of Greens. The fruits and vegetables in Field of Greens support my heart, lungs, kidneys, and metabolism for weight loss. And Field of Greens promises your doctor will notice your improved health or your money back. Get 15% off with promo code HEALTH at fieldofgreens.com. That's promo code HEALTH at fieldofgreens.com. Product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.